One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, grab a crucifix. Seven, eight, better stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. Well, yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to review Nightmare on Elm Street. This fucking badass, badass set of a movie. You know, New Line's Platinum series. Fucking awesome. You know? But, uh, let me get into this one first, which will be... The classic... Nightmare on Elm Street 1. You know, 5 out of 5. You know, this movie is very excellent. You know? Um, I love the cinematography. You know, I love, uh, the sets. The special effects. I love the sound effects. I love everything about the movie, man. You know? So, yeah, I even like this original, um, you know, cover art, the poster, the, the original theatrical poster. You know, and that's awesome. You know, that's awesome right there. Um, also the fact that, you know, Johnny Depp was in the movie. I like that as well, you know. But, um... You know, I, I like the acting from everyone in the movie. And also uh, Robert England as well. You know, Robert England is, is uh, you know, the fucking shit, man. You know, five out of five for that. Okay. Uh, this one, which gets hated on by everybody. A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Freddy's Revenge. Okay, the whole gay thing, you know, I, I, can underst I can understand for that, but I like that, to be honest with you. You know, something different other than the, the fact that, you know, oh, let's just make it about a girl again. No, they made it about this dude right here, you know. Yes, I know, because uh, I guess the director had some kind of gay vibes or something, you know. But, you know, anyways, uh, you know, five out of five, five. I love this movie, man. I, I like the the visuals, I like the cinematography, I like the special effects again, I like, uh, you know, everything about the movie. But other than that, you know, this movie gets hate on, and I enjoy this film even more. Just because it gets hate. You know, just because it gets hate. Five out of five for that. Okay. The best one out of the series, and my favorite one is Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, Dream Warriors. I mean, this movie was just crazy, man. What the uh, nightmare sequences, and this, and this, and this, you know. It was the best one. Also, the fact that you have Lawrence Fishburne in this movie. You know, Lawrence Fishburne is fucking awesome. You know, but um, 5 out of 5 for this movie. Everything was excellent about this movie. And this movie will always be remembered as, uh, you know, the best Nightmare on Elm Street movie ever made. Okay, let's get on to this one. Which is, of course, uh, the final last good movie, in my opinion. Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. You know, uh, The Dream Masters. Yeah. Um, partially, you know, you had, uh, you know, the scene where, you know, she, uh, gets ready for the fight, uh, for Freddy, you know, g getting dressed up like Rambo, this and that, whatever. But yeah, you know, um, this movie was very good, you know, for the last movie. You know, I count this as being the last movie because, you know, the rest of the franchise is just like, they were okay, or they were, like, pretty lame, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. You know. So, everything was good. Five out of five for this one. Okay, let's get on to this one, which is Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5. The Dream Child. Okay. Um, in my opinion, this movie was, yeah, it was okay, you know, um, I did like, uh, you know, uh, the baby Freddy, I did like that, but, you know, everything else, you know, it was just like, what the hell were they thinking when they were making this movie, man, come on, seriously, 
I mean, this is gonna be like one of the okay movies, you know, but um I guess uh four out of five. Four out of five. Four out of five is good for it, you know. And uh, you know, the la the which is supposed to be the last movie. Uh Freddy is dead. Okay. The final nightmare. Um, this movie was okay, too, you know, since this was the last movie. You know, um, you know, everything was shoddy on shot, you know. Um, you know, there was a Nintendo reference to it, you know, you had Roseanne Barr, you had, you know, um, a lot of cheesy things in this movie, but, you know, um, I'm just gonna admit something right here, you know, this movie had, um, a Wizard of Oz reference, you know. Um, I kind of liked that a lot. I liked that a lot. But um, other than that, this movie was okay. You know, four out of five. All right. And the last movie, which is kind of like part eight and a re no part seven and a remake. You know, um, the new nightmare. Uh. You know, this movie sucks, man, in my opinion. This is one of the worst Nightmare on Elm Street movies ever fucking made. Okay? Just the sheer fact that they're trying to, to uh, you know, tell realism in the movie. They're trying to explain realism. Oh, Freddy could come to this world. Okay, really? Really? And the little boy's shitty acting and, you know, um, her shitty acting... And, uh, mainly, I hate this piece of shit. You know, what a fucking terrible piece of shit for, you know, the final movie. Well, not really, because I count six as the final movie. This is just something that Wes Craven wanted to do for a fucking cash grab. Basically, milking the cow of Nightmare on Elm Street series. <laughs> this has got to be the worst Nightmare on Elm Street movie ever fucking made. I hate this movie. I really do. I wish I could break it, but I can't because it's a part of the collection, you know. And plus to make the whole uh, Freddy picture. So, yeah, you know, uh, this movie gets a negative zero out of five. You know, this was uh, the worst, the worst nightmare movie. Everything was just terrible about it. Okay, but yeah, other than that, you know, whatever, okay. And of course, the bonus disc, which comes with a lot of contents as well. But um, here's the thing, though, when you start it off, um, you have to find all the contents. You know, um, mainly you have to go through the classroom and this and that and find keys and stuff, so yeah. Okay, and of course, uh, this booklet right here that, you know, talks about the movies and stuff. I liked that, that artwork, that was neat, but, you know, that was for that shitty movie that I just mentioned. Okay, and I'll show you this, okay. Can you see that stuff right there? You know, sorry about the glare, guys. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. The book, this book is glossy and it likes to like shine. Yeah, pretty much I, li I like the book too. You know, I gotta reread it again, this book. You know, badass. And it goes in depth in each one, each movie.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. Yeah. You know, I love this set, seriously. Beautiful set, but... You know, just that it, it came with okay movies, you know? Yet again, um, this from the shitty movie. Yeah. Again, this from the shitty movie. And yeah. <laughs> I can't believe the last... The last page is of that shitty movie. <laughs> My god. Seriously. Okay, and where is that? Where did I put it? You know, this, apparently this comes with 3D glasses. You know, I'll show you a pair. Which don't even work, by the by the way. You know, maybe there was a problem with how they, they scanned the movie on DVD. You know, and on the side it says Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, and then finally, I can talk about this. Which I'll show you in a second. I love this documentary, man. Never Sleep Again, The Nightmare on Elm Street Legacy. You know, this is such a good documentary. Better than uh, his name was Jason, you know. And they go in depth and explain everything and, you know, this and that, you know. But, um, you know, you just got to go pick this up, seriously. So, you know, pick up Nightmare on Elm Street films except for 8 or 7 or whatever it was. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.